Caven began no differently than most younger bands. We were sophomores in high school, getting together to play in the basements of suburban hell Methuen, Massachusetts in April 1995. We liked loud music going to see local bands on Friday and Saturday nights instead of the high school football games. And we set out to make records as good as bands like Lincoln, Dead Guy, Threadbare, Slayer, and local monsters Converge had already done. Beginning as a five-piece, we immediately befriended the people in bands such as Piebald, Gambit, Converge, and countless other locals based within the Merrimack Valley area. After recording a terrible sounding demo with a four-track cassette machine, we miraculously managed to hop on shows with some bigger acts like Earth Crisis, Snapcase, Grade, Endeavor, 108, and Bloodlet. And within a year and a half, a few relatively small independent labels had released split 7 inches with Caven and pressings of under 2,000 copies each. We prayed for a sizable label to come into the picture, and by late 1996, our prayers had been answered by a local up-and-coming record label called Hydrahead. And even something as simple as having a label pay for your recording was unheard of to us at the time. But Hydrahead did just that, and by the summer of 1997, we had our very own self-titled 7-inch released. Towards the end of the year would mark the beginning of a very short stint in recruiting in and booting out lead singers. Jay Frechette, our singer from the beginning, decided he'd rather play guitar in the local now defunct hardcore band Ten Yard Fight. We recruited a singer from another local then defunct band, but his time with Caven lasted no longer than seven months, during which time we had spiced up all of our previous recordings with new guitar and vocal tracks for a discography type CD titled Beyond Hypothermia. With newly added bass player Caleb Schofield, the band shrank to a four-piece, perhaps the smartest thing we'd ever done. Getting another fifth member was just out of the question. By April, we were somewhat prepared to record our first real album, and after two and a half weeks of fragmented studio time at the local God City, we completed Until Your Heart Stops. Shortly after followed a tour and a small amount of press within the hardcore metal world. After this tour, we took advantage of the newfound freedom in becoming a four-piece by slowly writing and also experimenting on our four-track machines. We calmly held our breath and quietly released the Creative Eclipses EP sometime in early 1999, after a successful tour with Converge and the Dillinger Escape Plan. We toured the U.S. with local loud rockers Isis, and the tour came to a sudden ending for us when our van caught on fire outside of Philadelphia, destroying much of our equipment and most of our personal belongings.
After our van fire, we regained ourselves a bit, bought some new gear, and finished up writing the Jupiter album, which we recorded in Massachusetts and in Washington, D.C. with Brian McTurnan in February 2000. We have since toured with Grade and the local Slicksters, The Explosion, and have been enjoying life in the cosmics. From here, it's another U.S. tour in January, dubbed 2001, A Cave and Odyssey, only to come home afterwards and approach the new year by writing a new batch of music to entertain our brains, and hopefully yours too. Yeah. 